Hey guys, welcome back to a new unboxing video. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing video, but I really reduced my subscription boxes and this one came in uh, probably a couple weeks ago actually now that I think about it and I'm finally just getting a chance to unbox it. So this is actually going to be my last time unboxing this. I would say for now, I won't say forever, I may subscribe again, but I've reduced the boxes because they were kind of starting to get redundant and then also too, I have a lot of stuff so I'm trying to slow down what I'm picking up and really get the stuff that I really, really like or that really want to share with you guys in a box. But generally I do like this box. It's the Geek Fuel box and this is, so what are we in now? We're in, uh... Where's my brain? Okay, we're in, we're in April. So I think this is actually, I think this is March. The March Geek Fuel Box. But we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So like I said, generally I do like this box. Um, usually I can count on there being some really, like one or two pretty good items in here, but um, this box also at times has uh, a lot of filler, I feel like, that doesn't, you know, stuff that I really don't want. So that's why it was one of the boxes I decided, okay, I'm gonna pause step away from it while, for a while, maybe go back somewhere down the line. Okay, so Geek Fuel, first thing we have is our Geek Fuel magazine. This tells you about some of the items in the box. They also talk about other products or other um, fandoms in here. They also put pictures in the back of the catalog for people that have done the unboxings of their box, so that's cool. So you can kind of see some of the unboxers um, and some of the people that have taken pictures. Actually, this one's kind of cute. Look. Someone's got their cat in the Geek Fuel box. <laughs> that's kind of fun. So that's what's in there. And this actually says, it doesn't have the month on it. Which I thought they used to say the month. But I'm almost positive, issue one, issue 38, I'm almost positive this is a box for March. Okay? I don't know what the theme is. Um, looking at it right now, I'm not quite sure yet. But let's go ahead and open up the first thing or grab the first thing we see. So the first thing I see is a Ready Player One item, okay? So this is a Ready Player One unlock the, unlock the gate giveaway. So this is a crystal key ring. Actually, this is two items. So this is a crystal key ring, all right? I don't know much about Ready Player One except I see the commercials for the movie all over the place and I'm seeing the merchandise all over the place. Um, so the first thing is this, it's a crystal, Keychain, it looks like. A keychain with a key. It's supposed to be the crystal key. All right, so there's that. And attached to it is a like cardboard card. And it actually looks like this is. Do you have. Do you date your. Enter your ID and code below at geekview.com and you could score an HTC. Vive VR. Oh, so there's an actual code on here that can go online and potentially win this VR um, virtual reality headset. So that's cool. I'm actually going to try that. Maybe I'll win. Um, but I actually have one already, a Samsung one that came with one of my phones and I really don't use it. So um, anyway, next thing I have is. So this is one of the things I do like about the Geek Fuel box is they do really cool enamel pins and they do really cool creative themes and fandoms and they put a lot of time in the packaging to make it really unique. So this month's pin is actually the X-Files. So it looks like we have a enamel pin of Mulder. Um, so this one has a possibility of getting one, two, three, four, five different pins, and I'll show you in the back. There's always multiple versions of the pins that you can get for the themes that they do, and they always have a really rare one. Ever since I've been getting this box, I have yet to get one of those rare pins, which, you know, I'm always super disappointed I don't get one, but maybe um, if I join back up somewhere down the line, I'll actually be able to get a rare pin. But anyway, we got Molder. So if you're an X File fan, you might really, really like these pins. It's really cool that there are five of them. But the other thing they don't really like about this is once I see it, if it's like a fandom or a series I really like, I want all the pins that are in it. But 
you can't buy them on their site, so you can only get them from the box, so your only chance is being able to get it from somebody else that receives the box um, and possibly buying it off of them or trading something. So anyway, so we have this Geek Fuel um, pin of the X-Files. Next thing we have is one of my favorite kind of things, a blind box. So we have an X-Men blind box. This is kind of funny because this is an older blind box. I've seen these at Hot Topic for quite a while, a long time ago. Um, actually, a lot of them are on. These things always what? These always seem to be the ones that are on clearance. So there we go. Um, let me grab this. I think this will tell me the month. So this is maybe not. Okay. So I guess it doesn't tell me the month. I'm pretty sure this is March, but you know, I guess it really doesn't matter. So anyway, we have. Um, the X-Men box, the X-Men blind box, all right? Then this is what I'm talking about filler. There's always one of these in there. I, you know, maybe some people like getting these and playing them. I don't play games on a PC. So these are um, Steam downloadable games, and you always get one of these in your box. Again, I personally have never used one, um, and I don't have actually a, uh, PC to use it with. I use a, um, a Chromebook, so a lot, you can't do like this stuff. On a, and I don't know that I would go on and play them anyway. I don't know. Anyway, but um, there's this. You always get one of these in here. And this is for a game called Showdown. Forced Showdown. I don't know if anyone knows anything about that, but there's Forced Showdown. I'm curious if you get this box or if you are um, into playing games from Steam downloading and playing the games from there. Are these exciting? Do you like these? Do you wish you would have gotten these? I feel like a lot of people that get the boxes might not necessarily enjoy these, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I've never used one. I always give them away. All right. And the last thing we have, so this box is actually, I'm thinking kind of, you know, eh, kind of disappointing, but last thing we have is our t-shirt. So they show the t-shirt in here and our t-shirt is going to be Star Trek related. So there's two versions. I think they have, I think the uh, female version is Captain Kirk and the male version is a Spock t-shirt. Actually, this looks like a kind of a cool t-shirt. So I'm excited to pull it out and take a peek at it. What? All right, here we go. Yep, we got the blue, we got the Spock. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool t-shirt. It's like a total, like, nerdy fandom kind of, kind of t-shirt. So... There we go. <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, and so that's everything that came in this box. Like I said, I think it's March. I'm not 100% sure. Um, not that that changes or means a whole lot. But that's everything that came in the box. And this box is so-so. This is kind of the reason I'm really kind of um, putting this one on pause is because nothing's super great. I don't think I've gotten a lot of figures. That's the one thing I re used to like about some of the boxes. Occasionally I would get... Um, a Funko Pop or um, some other type of figure. Haven't really gotten a lot of those lately. So anyway, that's that. Here's the back of the card that shows all the different things that came in our box. The X-Men blind box, the player one ready um, keychain, the showdown downloadable game, the opportunity to win the virtual reality set headset, um, and then also our um, X-File enamel pin and our t-shirt, of course, which is over here. And that's what the um, women's version of the t-shirt is. And there's the men's. Okay. So, that's everything in my box. Before we're done, we'll open this. Let's see who we're going to get. You know I love my blind boxes. That's probably the best part of this box to me is getting a blind box in here. Even though I really um, wasn't into collecting the X-Men series. But let's see. If I had to pick one, I want um, Juggernaut, I think. Um, I think so, or Beast. Yeah, I think so. So there we go. All right, so let's see who we get. Oh, we did it. So this is a one, oh, they're all one in 12. So anyway, wah, wah, we didn't get, we got, they're bobbleheads. I always forget that they're bobbleheads until I pull them out of the box. I don't know. Like the mystery minis, I don't know that I enjoy them being bobbleheads, but 
Mm. Whatever, right? Okay, anyway. There's our mystery mini. Um, and that's really all that's in this box. So, it's kind of an average box. Not too excited, so not too disappointed I put it on pause because sometimes when you put a box on pause, all of a sudden your last box is amazing and then you're questioning your decision like, should I have done that? Oh no, oh no. Just kidding. Um, but no, that really does happen sometimes. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this box. Do you get it? Tell, tell me about these. Do you guys use these? Do you play these games? Are they fun? I don't know. I haven't spent time to research it and I'm really not that interested in it, but I, I'm curious, like, do you guys also see, see this as a filler to the box? All right. Um, I think my favorite, okay, I'm gonna do two things. Um, my favorite thing, only because it was a mystery mini, I got to open something that was a mystery, it was the blind box. But if I had to pick a favorite item after I see who came in the blind box, I'm gonna pick the X-Files enamel pin of Mulder. I think that's cool, so um, that's gonna be my favorite item in the box. What is yours? Let me know, leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this box. Are you keeping it? Do you get it? Are you gonna subscribe? Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my last unboxing of Geek Fuel. Keep, um, keep staying tuned. I will be back again soon with some new videos. And be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Um, so you um, ah, also sign up for those alerts so you know when I'm posting a new video. Okay, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, I'll be back with a new video real soon. So hang tight and let's open stuff. All right. Have a good one.